Now, ladies and gentlemen, there have been so many hits in recent times, all of which have really gotten the attention of the government and all the corporations around them. A new era of hackers have arisen, and the plan has very much changed. These hacktivists, or hacking activists, have grown with all these changes in technology taking place, and certain individuals have ta has taken it upon themselves to rid the world of what they call evil, and to restore sense and privacy back into our lives. These groups have gone by many names, and the media has gone into a frenzy to find out who these people are and what they want. Organizations such as WikiLeaks, Anonymous, and 4chan have taken huge strides in the art of hacking. There's one group of six people that has really turned heads in the last couple months, and that group is called LulSec. Lull Security, as they call themselves, has caused more torment in the past couple months than all the others combined. Going after companies such as Sony and PBS, tackling governments in Brazil and the US, bringing down sites in the CIA and Arizona State Police, and exposing many important people around the world has been their game, and they have simply provided lulls after each mission. The group's motto is laughing at your security since 2011, and their website has even hosted all the information they have recovered from their victims. As mentioned before, the group consists of six known members, Sabu as the leader, Topiari, Kayla, Tiflo, AV Unit, and Pwn Sauce. And the message is quite simple, cause mayhem and have fun doing it. LulzSec's first known attack came in May 2011 when they went on a rampage affecting Fox.com, stealing thousands of passwords and information regarding 73,000 X Factor contestants. In mid-May, they also released over 2,000 ATM logs from the United Kingdom, and they also hacked PBS, putting out an article that claimed that Tupac Shakur, the rapper, was still alive and living a healthy life in New Zealand. This immediately gave them a notorious following over their main communication medium, which was Twitter. Next, and perhaps one of the biggest hits in, in the recent internet era, was when they single-handedly brought down the Sony PlayStation Network. They claimed they stole millions of usernames, passwords, addresses, birthdays, and even worse, credit card information. This, this caused an uproar in the video game realm, and many scams stemmed from this breach. It also left the PlayStation Network out cold for weeks to come. The attack sent Sony back in the millions and hurt their reputation immensely. Supposedly, a simple SQL injection was used, as I mentioned in the previous video, where they found most of the information relatively simply. Continuing their torment, on June 8th, and perhaps my favorite attack, is when they breached a security firm called Blackenberg Consulting, putting their famous logo on the front page. The owner quickly removed it and set up a $10,000 contest to see if they could do it again. Not only did they, but when, when they replied, they said on the website that, done, that was easy, keep your money, we do it for the lulls. On June 9th, they got in touch with the British NHS, or National Health Services, and made sure to tell them that all their exploits all of their exploits they discovered while footprinting and scanning their website. Soon after, Lulsec went haywire on the U.S. government when they released account information from the U.S. Senate's website and issued a DOS or a denial of service attack on the CIA. This took the website down for almost three hours before they could figure out what was wrong. This wasn't the only attack on U.S. soil. It's when they also exposed many Arizona border control officers on their website. At this point, the term online terrorists was floating around when they were mentioned. So to conclude their 50 days of lulls, they stole information from porn sites, the video game developer Bethesda, who's famous for their Elder Scrolls series, and finally dumped a file consisting of 750,000 email and password combination to various sites such as Sony, NBC, and Disney. Lulzsec did return for a brief spell and showed their support to certain websites such as Twitter, Pastebin, but took down an unlucky PayPal because, you guessed it, they felt like it. Now, this of course didn't come without any backlash from other hackers. Groups such as the Web Ninjas appeared at the peak of LulzSec attacks to say that they would be gunning down on them and would give them up to the FBI and CIA if given the opportunity. The Jester, perhaps LulzSec's biggest enemy, set up a whole blog called LulzSec Exposed 
and analyzed many different things that lolsec was doing in the hacking world he also asked his fellow hackers to help take these guys down because with them he thought that they were powerful enough to do so he worked around the clock to come up with some names and even falsely accused a couple people like when he thought he figured out the whereabouts of sabu Lulsec did scare off a couple of their enemies, such as the hacker named Trick after he tried analyzing a series of IRC chats that they had. The real law would also take a stand, as the FBI made many arrests in anticipation that at least one member would be caught. Initially, they discovered Ryan Clearly, who they thought was a main member of Lulsec, and arrested him in his home in England. It turned out that he did have some association with them, but only because he set up chat rooms where they could meet. Another member was arrested in London after being affiliated with certain websites that Lulsec has taken down. This member was called T Flow. But Lulsec was quick to say that this wasn't the case and they had no idea who this person was. There have been over 10 other arrests with other leads, such as the arrest of the member Topiari in progress, but nothing has been confirmed by Lulsec. And until then, they have the last laugh. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about hacking today and what it really means in today's world. The individuals will only get more powerful, so I believe that security will be a huge issue in the next couple of years, especially in the coming presidential elections. We can only imagine how powerful these hackers will become then, when even nowadays a small organization such as Lulsec can take down one of the biggest companies in the world. I also urge you all to sign up to ACM which at $19 a month, you basically have an unlimited resource of tools and lessons that will only help you in the future, especially if you're a technology student. The link will be in my description, and it's www.acm.org for those that want to check it out right now. I learned an incredible amount through this course, and I think it's a really nice change from the standard courses that are offered at universities. The hands-on experience helps so much in technology. So I urge you to check out some of the different courses they have, as well as the hacking courses that I took, because we never know. We, we might have a Sabu amongst us in the future. So uh, once again, I thank you for listening to me, and um, happy hacking.